losing the blood and these are must be quite massive for us? Um, I mean, you never want to see a teammate suffer, um, uh, but unfortunately it's uh, part of the trade. Uh, and uh, yeah, ultimately, at the end of the day, you're, um, you're tested in this competition by, uh, by your depth. Um, so you can't just rely on top players being, being available all the time. So um, yeah, while you feel for your teammates um, that have got acute injuries, you've also got to get on. Um, and you know, really now it's somebody else's chance to contribute uh, to a team. Um, ultimately, at the end of the day, it'll come down to you know, uh, how everyone has contributed uh, to the team in, in some form of way and, and, and now there's new players that will be given chances to uh, you know, to contribute to the team on, on the field. But um, what does that say John now, but the form the two of them were in? Yeah, good form, but uh, that's gone, yeah, it's yeah. history, it's reality. So you, uh, it's, it's happened, it's finished, it's gone, it's the past. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you can't, uh, you can't focus on, uh, on them not being here, you know. And uh, you, you, you spoke to enough, uh, maybe um, touching some of the uh, pro footing sides for uh, cover and prop. Um, are you looking at a guy like Oxenshire? Uh, we are looking at some people, but uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, um, I'm quite happy to uh, to maintain uh, and continue the development with the uh, with the young guys that we have in the club. Uh, it's their, as I said before, it's their time to uh, contribute to to team and seize their opportunity. Um, I think the way Lizo took his opportunity after Pia. Um, we've also been without Lewis before, um, you know, uh, in a challenging week coming back from uh, from a major tour. Uh, so yeah, it creates a different focus and um, you know, presents you know uh, people like Jason and, and RG to uh, to control uh, control the middle and um, and then Stussy who who obviously played against the, the Stormers has already had an experience, so he knows exactly what he's walking into. John, will it be an option to um, to choose Trevor at, at Lucid? Um, yeah, no, definitely we can move Trevor to Lucid in the in the meantime. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's amazing how how lo yeah the loose forwards has been a been a real challenging year with uh, with injuries uh, where some guys haven't even become available um, even from pre season, which uh, uh, which you obviously don't really plan for. And um, yeah, locks we've got you know, a lot of depth there. Uh, but you know, Lucid, uh, Lucid's have uh, been tested uh, through injury uh, and suspension, and so is so is Tighty. John, um, the Jaguaris obviously had an unbelievable tour um, overseas, and sort of general you know, rugby sense is that they're going to be even stronger at home. Uh, do, do you think that's the case, or do you think sometimes a team going away from home can actually just sort of gel better? And um, They've been more consistent away than they have uh, at home. Um, yeah, and they got their. Yeah, they, they don't seem to go away. They, they don't seem to blow out teams uh, as such. Uh, but yeah, they they got their wins um, in their particular way. Uh, they've got extremely uh, good a flat attack. Um, and the Sanchez and um, and the wingers and the fullback are you know, are tidy. Um, yeah, they they pass a lot as well. Uh, so. Um, you know they uh, they'll be quite, they're, they're certainly confident when you look at them they um, they tend to uh, stick to the same things all, all the time um, they like to you know, clearly like to scrum well they um, they their plus the plus one lineouts is a is a big feature of theirs and um, yeah they like they like moving you around and they're very patient uh, uh, with with the ball as well 